today we're going to go through a standard thumb strapping technique and we could use either 25mm flesh colour tape or we could use the same but in red colour. Uh, there's a number of different ways you can take the thumb because it does move quite a lot the joint but we'll just show you the standard technique. Okay, so here's a basic thumb strapping technique. Now, this depends on your patient and their allergies to certain tapes. If they are a bit reactive, you can use some of our fixed tape underneath with the anchor that we first apply. But our patient today has healthy skin, so we don't need to worry about that, and she doesn't react. So what we do is we apply an anchor. Now, you can rip your tape first if you wish to. Uh, we just apply an anchor just at the end of the wrist, just over the wrist area there, um, just so we've got a starting point and we always say the tape likes to stick to tape so it's a nice way of starting our technique. Okay so now with the, with the thumb there's lots of different ways that you can take the thumb and it really depends on what you're trying to protect or to make uh, stable. So a common injury in the thumb is one where the ligament on the inside is torn and that's called the ulnar collateral ligament. So it's very common so we're just going to demonstrate a basic technique uh, for that. So how I start the technique is you apply the tape over the other tape, okay, and on the thumb side and the back of the wrist, okay. So you can wrap it around a couple of times just to prepare, okay, and then you can head up towards the thumb, okay, and you just ask the patient just to have their thumb open. Really important for some sports is to watch that web space, okay, because uh, many athletes don't like their web space being, uh, being compromised. And a really important thing with the technique is not to apply too much pressure as you wrap it around because that will restrict the blood supply and the thumb will go blue and that's not what we want to happen. Okay. Now you can come back and head up again and again mould the tape as you go around. Tape likes to be moulded. Mold. Again, less, not too much pressure around the thumb and watch the web space as well. Okay, and heading back down again. And you can apply one more. Just around a little bit further. Really important that this joint here, which is the IP joint, is, uh, is able to move. And we come back down, just a nice mould the tape. We can finish up with just cutting the tape. Just apply that. And if you want to finish off, you can finish off with locking the tape with the rigid tape here, just like at the start. This is a very sticky tape, so it's very good to have at the end. You apply that down there like that. Okay, so that's the technique. One other very important thing is that you keep this area open. Uh, a lot of sports like netball, basketball, football, they don't like their, what we call the thema eminence being uh, compressed with the tape. So that's very important as well. So that's a basic thumb strapping technique for the, for the ligament.